Hey guys, I'm Brittany Hughes. You are watching MRC TV, and this is your reality check. Over the weekend in Charlottesville, Virginia, a relatively small group of crazy white supremacists crawled out of their gutters and paraded through the streets displaying their depraved idiocy for the entire world to see. And here, here's a video from Sunday night when a journalist was assaulted during an anti-white supremacy protest in Richmond, although that probably didn't make it very far up your newsfeed. Now, this is not the first time we have seen fanatics use violence to make their point. Remember Ferguson? How about Baltimore, Milwaukee? Here's Portland and Berkeley, DC. All riots by left-wing extremists who think that throwing Molotov cocktails and lighting cars on fire is free speech. Yet the left swept all this violence under the rug like these guys just got a little too emotional. So here's the deal. What happened in Charlottesville was despicable. Racial hatred has no place in the heart of a decent person and no decent person is defending it. But you can't sit there in your Che Guevara t-shirt ranting about Nazis, then get all Twitter happy whenever a cop gets shot or a Republican congressman takes a bullet in the gut from a Bernie Sanders supporter. And not just because it makes you a raving hypocrite, but because it fuels the hatred on both sides. The more the left turns a blind eye to the violence of the Black Lives Matter movement, the more crazy white supremacists feel empowered. And if you keep calling everybody a racist all day long, eventually the real racists are going to show up, like Beetlejuice. So for the majority of us not living in Nutville, this really is not hard. Nazis suck, we fought a whole war over it. Antifa sucks, the KKK sucks, so does Black Lives Matter. They're two sides of the same racist coin, and we need to start calling them out for the violent losers they are, no matter what side they claim to be a part of. So the next time Black Lives Matter decides to burn down half a neighborhood, I expect the left to be just as outraged as we all were last weekend. Because if you want to condemn hate, you have to condemn all of it. And that's your Reality Check America. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube page, and stay sane out there.